There, I did it. Welcome to Comic Storian Phase 4. Our logo, Comic Storian, love, thunder, and whiskey. Are you not excited? Are you not hyped for Comic Storian Phase 4? Why aren't you cheering? I mean, Marvel made a whole big Hall H announcement at San Diego Comic-Con. They showed off like 54 different logos and we all cheered. Why aren't you cheering for Comic Storian Phase 4, Love, Thunder, and Whiskey? We can already start speculating what Love, Thunder, and Whiskey is all about because I am confirming all the rumors. Phase 4 Comic Storian is starting today. If you haven't caught on, today's rant is going to be a little bit different. It's about you, the fan, and how you're feeding the Marvel monster, the frog zombie. I don't know why, I just made up a monster, the frog zombie, it's gonna work. How you're feeding the behemoth, I'm Marvel. Okay, why is everyone freaking out over logos? Now, I will say, the phase four announcements were pretty cool. It was a confirmation on a ton of rumors, and maybe you don't follow the rumor mill. That's fine, that's my job, that's what I do. But why did everyone freak out over the Marvel announcements when it was just logos? You know, if we actually put like fireworks back here, like so, maybe a dragon's head, Rawr! that's the world's worst dragon ever. Made it better, fixed it, okay. Uh, like, why did everyone freak out over logos? Like, I don't understand it, okay? The rumors are cool. We got some pretty cool announcements. We got confirmation on everything from like Thor 4 being a thing. We got confirmation on Blade, which I'll say I thought was gonna be a TV show. Hey, a movie. I will totally take another Blade movie. We got confirmation, on, we even got him mentioning, he didn't even give us logos for Guardians 3 and uh, Black Panther 2 and Captain Marvel 2 and Fantastic Four and the X-Men. But you know what I'm seeing everyone freak out about? Logos, Doctor Strange, Madness of the Multiverse or something along those lines. Cool, Stranger Things looking logo. A Loki logo that you can't even tell what it's about. It's, it's just, it's Loki and you can barely, if you didn't know it's Loki, what, it's just symbols and stuff. WandaVision? What, that's like the worst thing ever. That's not, hey man, you wanna watch a TV show about Scarlet Witch and Vision? And I go, yeah, and you go, it's WandaVision. And I go, okay, well what's the name of the show? Cause that sounds like a really crappy 1950s version of a television made by a woman named Wanda. WandaVision. Hey, what, what is this? Why are we so hyped for anything that Marvel wants to give us that you're willing to cheer for logos. I tweeted out that I'm excited. I tweeted out the only thing that I was really shocked by was Jane Foster Thor being announced and Blade being a movie instead of a TV show. Those are cool. I was like, oh, sweet, and that's that. But my feed has been filled with people freaking out over logos. Now we're gonna add a spaceship up here. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, like, spaceship, blasting off, blasting off, spaceship. That does not look like a spaceship. We'll put like spikes on it. Now it's a spaceship. All right, cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't understand that. And what I'm, I don't get is why we feel the need to feed this Marvel hype engine. Everyone, like we didn't get any true trailers. We didn't get any true news. We didn't get any announcements that weren't expected. If Kevin Feige got up on that stage and was like, here's all the rumors and spent 10 minutes showing his logos and then said their plans for Fantastic Four, and for Guardians 3, and for, uh, you know, not even Guardians 3, Fantastic Four, and uh, the X-Men and stuff like that, that would have been hype. I would have been excited for that. But instead, we had about an hour and a half of them going, here is the logo. Uh, do you like the font we paid stupid amounts of money for? Uh, meet the cast. Aren't they interesting? Cool. Uh, some of them didn't even talk. The guy for Blade came out and he's like, here's the individual who's going to play Blade. Put on your hat, cool, bye everyone. And it was like, why? Why are we so rabid for information from Marvel that getting logos will make us excited about it, okay? And I don't understand it, I really don't. Because why does everyone have questions about the logos? Why does everyone wanna know what, what Love, Thunder, and Whiskey, I added Whiskey, I think it's called Love and Thunder, the Thor movie. It, it feel like, I'm getting nods from off screen, definitely called Love and Thunder. But why is this important? Well. Here's what I think. We got to the end of Endgame, okay? And there's so many people that were like, I'm done. I don't even want to watch Spider-Man. I have no interest in the MCU and I don't want to know anything about this. And I think part of that was because we were sitting here like, well, 
We only got rumors for movies. We don't know what they are. So everyone kind of checked out. We were done with the MCU. No one really cared about the MCU. We didn't want to watch the MCU. We didn't want to know what's going on in the MCU. We saw rumors, but no one really deep dived into the MCU. I made a rumor video telling you all about all of these movies like a month and a half ago, and no one cared. I got very little views on it. But now Marvel has confirmed like a billion movies, and that phase four is gonna be two years long, and that you're gonna get all the shows and everything you wanted. I, in my opinion, the logos don't matter and they don't make me hype, but for that viewer, that person who had checked out of the MCU, that's why we're getting excited about these logos. Because everyone was done with the MCU at this point. Okay, no one cared about anything. Rumors are rumors, but they're not confirmed by the company. That's fine. But what I think happened is those people that checked out got wind of this and went, oh my God, now I'm excited again. So now our fandom, which was quickly dwindling down to nothing, so many people were saying, I'm done with the MCU. I don't want to watch the DCEU. I don't want to do any of this. It was dwindling is now reignited. Everyone is excited for the MCU movies once again. And that's why logos can make you excited. Now, this is also a genius tactic on the MCU part, and this part is really what I'm mad about. San Diego Comic-Con, the mecca of nerdisms, nerd nerdgasms, geekdoms, fandoms. My camera guy's shaking his head. He's like, Benny, stop. You're, you're not, you were never ahead and you're getting farther behind. Um, used to be where we get all this news and Marvel checked out. They're like, we're done, we don't care because they are owned by Disney. So you know all those trailers we probably could have gotten? You know all the information we could have gotten? You know all that Fantastic Four, mutant stuff you mentioned? D23. We're gonna have to wait another month to get any real information. But do me a favor, everyone, who's now excited and reignited about the MCU. Let's just keep in mind that you're all freaking out about logos. And the fonts aren't even that great. Look at that Loki. That Loki does not look good. Look at that WandaVision. Really looks like a TV from the 50s. Why, why would you want to buy a TV called WandaVision? In general, let's keep our hype at a minimum. We're already going to explode once we finally get a trailer. The internet's going to break the day that it comes out. And let's keep that hype down. And let's remember, logos are not cool, especially when they look like Loki. That's the sign to put something on the screen here. If it didn't show up for the, the 19th time that I've said it, uh, Dan failed. You hear that whiteboard? You would have failed. All right, that's it. It's a short rant today, guys. I wanna know what you think. Were you super excited about logos? What were you excited about? For me, the big excitement was seeing Jane Foster Thor is gonna make it to the movies and the fact that Blade is a movie, not a TV show. But all of this was rumors. All of this was confirmation. So what were you excited about? What did you freak out about? What did, I saw a lot of reaction videos from other people. Yeah, I don't think those were real. I don't think anybody was like, oh my God! Ah! I'm the comic historian and I was looking at my Twitter feed going, oh, that's cool. Oh, cool blade. <laughs> That was pretty much it. So let's just let's just amp it down a little, guys. Let's just amp it down. And also, for the record, have you ever met anyone that really goes, ah! I never have. I don't know anyone that really does that. Just saying. Now that I've said that, watch me do it in the next trailer drop. Don't forget, guys, we have a sponsorship. It's with G Fuel that they didn't put on the table like they're supposed to when I said to. <laughs> the character, there's a case behind you. Oh, hold on, whiteboard people. Here we go. Uh, G Fuel, which right now you can get 30% uh, off the using the code COMICS at checkout. You can also get 10% off normally, but hey, 30% is a lot better, so go check that out. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you next time right here at the Comic Story on Whiteboard!